Hi folks and thanks for joining me back on the little Airline 62316 from 1936. You can see in the split screen I've got the power transformer removed. I'll do some additional testing and cleanup on that when the uh, weather allows me to do so. Still too cool to do any touch-up pain at this point in time. And again, this particular uh, Candome resistor, which is nothing more than a bunch of resistors, of course, tapped at different locations in series, attaching back to the field coil all the way through, again, to create the bias for the tubes, as you can see here in the picture and picture. Anyway, for folks that are new in the hobby, uh, these things can be somewhat intimidating. You know, when you look at them, how to create the... Uh, you know, the voltage drop or understand the voltage drop in addition to the wattage requirements. One clue though for the resistive elements, again this particular uh, candom appears to be the metal channel candom that has the uh, Bakelite in the center. They were known to be more reliable and this one does test good by the way. It's within, uh, I think the highest section was out about 12.5%. I'll still go ahead and replace it just in case this receiver lands uh, back with one of the previous uh, owners of the set so we don't have to worry about it failing down the road. If you look though at the uh, schematic itself here in the picture in picture and you're trying to figure out the uh, can dome without doing all the uh, tracing of the wires you can see our ground connection is here nothing is tied to that because the uh, chassis ground was used but this is the ground and you can see that on the schematic itself I've got it circled and then your next point between here and here would be R14 at 52 ohms and you can see the small section of the uh, resistive circuit that's used and then the next clue would be R13 is only 36 ohms and you can see the short span we have between these two points so that makes sense. And then the last section here being R12 is 220 ohms uh, between these two points here. And you can see the distance we have between the two. So again if you're new in the hobby and you're just doing a visual inspection only you can get a general idea of the uh, candom resistance by looking at the tap locations themselves or the spacing between the two. So this again would be your highest resistance, the smallest amount of resistance, and then the next uh, least amount of resistance here back to ground. So I hope you found that helpful. You guys uh, take care and stay well more here soon on the uh, restoration efforts as I uh, continue to uh, check things.